Down here at the Fox Valley Qualifier in Wisconsin, checking in with team number 14064 Apple Crisper. I'm here with Kobe and Ramsey. We're going to check more about this bot here on Behind the Bot. A few things we're going to be running through on this robot here. we got a cool uh, uh, linear elevator on here. Neat intake, which we'll talk about some of the results of that a little bit. Uh, we have a, a foundation mover and, of course, the sweet Go Build a Mechanum wheels here on Behind the Bot. So as we go through this robot, let's start with you. What do you want to talk about on this cool machine? Uh, well, my I'm a programmer, so my coolest part was the autonomous. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble in the beginning, but in our last match, we actually got it to work twice in a row consistently. And so what did your autonomous do during a match? We were able to, uh, we used a program called TensorFlow, which actually used the phone camera to detect the sky stones. So we were able to select the right stone and pick it up, put it on the foundation, uh, park on the line, and that got us a lot of points. Talk to me about these Go Build a Mechanum wheels a little bit on here. I know uh, this is something you're mentioning. It's been working out really well for you. I love the course of yellow looks absolutely amazing, right? So why did you go with the, uh, these Mechanum wheels and tell me a little bit about Go Build a? Um, this is actually our first year using uh, Mechanum wheels, and we chose Mechanum wheels because they just provide so much more mobility. We're a lot faster. Um, these go these go builder wheels are fantastic. We haven't had any problems with them at all. Um, they're super easy to set up and fix whenever we needed them, and they're just great overall. So my question to you is, are you going to look at getting the custom mechanic wheels at some point where you can dye your own colors? Um, we might stick with the yellow as our mascot is a rubber duck. So, That's fair. Yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, looking uh, on the front of the spot here, I, I want to hear a little bit more about the uh, the elevator. Uh, and then the, the intake, I know uh, you guys had some uh, malfunctions with it in your semifinal match where you got knocked out, but who wants to talk about that a little bit more? Um, our linear slide was actually just a, was a kit that we got off Servo City, was it? Yeah. Um, we had to make some modifications for it as it was too tall, but in the end it started working perfectly. and. Once we got the wires out of the way, it just it just works flawlessly. So what happened to your bot during the match on here? Did you run into another robot, or what caused the uh, mechanical failure? Um, we ran we had a collision with another robot, and it messed up our servo. So that servo it might be bricked. We don't know. Um, once we get back to our home base, um, we can actually diagnose it and hopefully get a repair going. One of the things I want to follow up here on this robot is you guys have another event coming up, I think, next week you were mentioning. Yes. Um, w looking from this week to the next week, obviously you want to repair that intake. Any other changes you might make as you look at this competition? Um, we're definitely going to practice driving more. We didn't have a ton of time. I had to kind of get used to it during the match. But uh, otherwise, refining the autonomous. I, it worked pretty well at the end, but we need to increase its consistency and we'll be all good. Well, Apple Crisp, we're out here in the semifinals. We're looking for a lot of big things here next week. Guys, good luck as you go through Skystone and through the rest of this year. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.